Mastering English Grammar, Adjective and Adverb Clauses Unveiled Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our Grammar Fundamentals series. Today, we are diving into the exciting world of adjective and adverb clauses. Our mission is to help you recognize and understand these in various contexts. So grab your notebooks and let's get started. First off, let's define our key terms. Adjective clauses are groups of words that contain a subject and a verb, and function as an adjective. They modify a noun or pronoun in a sentence. Adverb clauses, on the other hand, are also groups of words with a subject and verb but they function as adverbs, which means they modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Here's an example for each. 1. The book that you recommended is out of stock. Here, that you recommended, is an adjective clause modifying, book. 2. I'll call you when I get home. In this case, when I get home, is an adverb clause modifying, call. Now that we understand what adjective clauses are, let's practice identifying them in sentences. Remember, an adjective clause will modify a noun or pronoun. Example, the shoes, which are red, belong to John. Here, which are red, is modifying, shoes. This is an adjective clause. Just like with adjective clauses, let's try to spot some adverb clauses. An adverb clause will modify a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. Example, she sings better when she's happy. In this case, when she's happy, is modifying, sings better. It's an adverb clause. It's time to put your knowledge to the test with some exercises. I'll provide a sentence and your task is to identify the adjective and adverb clauses. 1. John, who is my brother, is an engineer. Hint. Look for an adjective clause. 2. I swim faster when I see a shark. Hint. Look for an adverb clause. Pause the video here, try to solve these, and when you're ready, play the video to check your answers. And that's a wrap on adjective and adverb clauses. Remember, the key is to practice. The more you engage with these clauses, the better you'll get at identifying and using them. Keep practicing and you'll master these in no time. Thank you for joining me today. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll see you in our next Grammar Fundamentals video. Happy learning!